Welcome back to Barrels and Beans. I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you decided to stick around. Hey, before we get started, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button, like button, share button. When we're done here, leave me a comment down below with something that you might like to see. Here we go. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. The whiskey that we are going to try is going to be the Old Forester 1920. 57% alcohol. Ooh, Old Forester 1920. Now, I've not had this before. These are sample bottles given to me by James Kitzel. I have quite a few up here on the bar that we're going to have to get through. But today, I'm just going to talk about Old Forester 1920. Now, I've not had this before. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, that is sweet. We're going to talk a little bit about this old Forester here. So this old Forester 1920 retails in, in Ontario. By the way, I'm Ontario, Canada. Retails here at their local LCBO for approximately $75 a bottle. Now, I'm not going to read the notes yet because I want to see if I can figure out what I've got here. Again, I'm no expert. I'm just... I just like whiskey. So here we go. I can definitely smell the level of alcohol. I know it's 57%. I've already said that. A lot of times on the nose you can smell the proof. Not exactly the proof, me, but I can't tell you the exact proof, but I can tell it's higher or lower. Oh, that's good. All right, this is a bourbon. Definitely taste the oak in it. Uh, I can taste some vanilla and some bananas. Not a, not a strong banana flavor, but there is a banana flavor to it. All right. Let's see what the notes say. Okay, so they call it a vanilla custard. Banana. Treacle. If you know what treacle is, let me know down below because I certainly don't. Dark raisins and baking spice. Uh, I can taste the spice in it, but I, I couldn't tell it was baking spice. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is the actual Prohibition one or not. However... On the website, Old Forester 1920 Prohibition Style is the third expression in the Old Forester Whiskey Ross series. During Prohibition, only six Kentucky distilleries were granted permission to bottle bourbon for medicinal purposes. The maker of the Old Forester was Brown Foreman. Secured a permit in Kentucky in 1920. The first bottles under this permit were produced. So on the nose... It's supposed to be dark fruit, burnt brown sugar, chocolate, and a hint of bananas. Well, remember I said I could barely taste the banana? Well, this is a still on the nose, but it's a hint. Now that I read what I'm supposed to be looking for, I can actually smell the chocolate. I'm not sure about the burnt brown sugar. Not surprisingly, for the proof, it tingles the nostrils with a trace of ethanol. Yes. On the palate, it says it's big, bold, and immediately likable. It is an easy drinking whiskey. For, 50, for 57%, it's an easy drinking whiskey. The richness of the barrel char and the dark chocolate play against the sweetness of the caramel and creme brulee. I've never had creme brulee, but there is caramel in here. Also says on the finish, the allspice and black pepper pop initially. Then quickly dissipate and leave a long lingering finish without further introduction of new flavors. But a pleasing end to those introduced on the palate. Dark chocolate, barrel char, and the nuttiness are most prominent. 
I can agree with that. Folks, there you have it. Old Forester 1920. A very nice whiskey. And for the proof at 57%, I'm not an everyday whiskey drinking guy, so my nostrils, my mouth, and my throat are not always acclimated to the higher proof alcohol. So a lot of times you will get the burn. You sip this, you don't slam it. When you slam it, that's when all you get is a burn and you get nothing else. But a lot of times when I am drinking this, I'm trying to figure out what I'm drinking. It doesn't always come to me, but when I read the notes that I'm supposed to be getting, it then comes to, oh yeah, that's chocolate, that is dark, that's the dark oak, that's the nuttiness, that's... But, I've never had creme brulee. Brulee? Brulee? Creme brulee. You're going to know that some things don't change around here. My vocabulary is not that big. However, I've never had creme brulee before, so I don't really know what it tastes like or smells like. But I would definitely recommend the 1920 Old Forester, 57.5% alcohol. Doesn't drink like one, which I find surprising. It doesn't drink like one. Here you have it. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of that. The Old Forester 1920, definitely worth it. The Old Forester 1920, would I buy this bottle again? I didn't buy it in the first place. James gave me the sample. But would I buy this? Yeah, absolutely, I would buy this. And as stated, I'm not sure it's the Prohibition version that I looked up on our local LCBO. It did say it was about $75 a bottle. And it's definitely a $75 bottle. Anyway, folks, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I've got plenty more coming. You're going to want to stick around. So please. Is that right? Please. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button. Ring the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. You never know. Next time I might be on the road going somewhere. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. You got it.